folks. This is my life. I'm living out of a bag. Can you believe this? Huh? I left Jamaica. I left the ox tail, the curry goat, the pork that God made specially for me and coming eating out of a bag here in Holland. Huh? Water on deck. Salt, 0% salt, sugar, 20% salt. 20% sugar, 22% sugar already is the salt. Fat, 4% fat. That means there's some fat floating around in this water. As I said, this is the fourth, the third time I try to record. Some things, some days, everything just fuck up. But I'm here for the get down. I'm the friend you don't need. I'm Chucky. You know, Chucky, Chucky was trying to kill everybody back in the days. And never mind America sending seven fleet to China. Oh, yes, we are at World War III. It's just around the corner now. Yeah, something is about to pop off, but never mind that. I know what you want. I know what you need. You're here for the bullshit, yes? And today, I have the bullshit for you. As you know, I'm an objective speaker. Why am I shouting? Turn this down a little bit at one. Yo, one, two. Turn it down a little. So I don't scare myself. <laughs> yeah, I don't scare myself. No, let's get. Yo, you heard what happened in England? The, 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 the players, three black players saying, yo, they are being victimized now in, in England. Wait, we'll get to them shortly. But how was your week? Hmm? How was your week? I was supposed to record on Friday, but to my, I don't want to say my bad, but because I was in a vulnerable place, two colleagues came over, Polish guy, and for lack of a better word, a Russian guy. A bottle of NSC was open. And shit went left. I forget the entire night. <laughs> the, Russian, the Russian guy was like, yo, I need a vodka. I tell him, no, Mr. Putin don't live here. You understand? It's this energy or nothing. It's energy or water. Pay attention. But now I'm drinking my water. And Saturday... Oh, I had a lovely day Saturday. I was your Saturday. My Saturday was good. I did some work. I made a promise and I showed up and I did my part because I was threatened. And I gave my YouTube channel to a particular person. They look at it. Oh, this is a nice guy. Pay attention. This is a nice guy, yeah? Is he Jamaican? Maybe she was trying to hit on me or something. I said, no, that's me. They said, no, that's not you. This guy on the and, and the phone is a younger guy. You standing beside me is an old guy. Apparently, I look younger on camera, as I should. I have a question. Is it, is it ratchet? Is it nasty? Is it untidy for you not to make your bed? How many of you listeners make your bed in the morning? Be honest. Only time I make my bed is when somebody coming over to visit. <laughs> I get up, I take my shower, I go to work. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be admitting this on camera, but it is what it is. I don't live with nobody. You see me? My shit is clean and I, get, I cannot wake up in the morning and... No, hell no. My, when, my phone, when my alarm go off, it's time for me to go to work. I'm already late. As I always oversleep. What it is, what it is. Is it nasty? Is it ratchet? What is it? Hmm? Hey, it's just, just some fucking pig. As I said, I hope, I hope this will record this time. You see me? First topic, money. We all been there. Do you loan money? In my instance, I don't have... I don't have money to loan like that. I, I just don't. Do you give money? And what, when you loan money, have you ever had problems to get back your money? Hmm? 
I know when somebody needs something from you, your phone keep ringing. Once they get it, the phone stop ring. Don't give a fuck about you no more. That's a fact. Sip a little more. Folks, I've got, I, I've got time for the bullshit. And on a side note, if you want to get rid of a Jamaican, tell them you love them. Man, I don't know what is it. Oh, I will get back to the topic, but on a side note, I don't know what it is with Jamaican. We think we are so tough. When it's, it's, not, it's not the culture in Jamaica for you to tell another man that you love them. They see that as being gay. But because I'm a man of a certain age, more mature, I will tell you I love you. <laughs> I just don't care. If you see it as being gay, that's up to you. You understand? But we are, as a man, you have to be able to express yourself, not just, not just to woman, but to man also. If you respect and love somebody, why, why you don't tell them? I tell, I, <laughs> I tell a Jamaican, he was talking bullshit in my ear. Well, you should do this to the channel and say, I love you. Beep, beep, beep. I haven't heard from that nigga since. <laughs> I think he blocked me. That was the intention. As I said, I'm a friend to none of you. So, have you ever loaned money out and have problem getting it back? I can tell you stories upon stories upon stories that I've heard. Me personally, I don't lend money because I don't have it. And even if I have it, I will never lend. Somebody from Jamaica called me and said, I need to borrow. I hung up. Immediately hung up because they're insulting my intelligence. What little intelligence I have, my little IQ now, is in the single digit because of you wanting to borrow. Because I know you will never give it back. That's a fact. They say, Jamaicans normally call and say, listen, your mother died. I, Nigga, your mother died two weeks ago. You already give that excuse. You see me? Yeah, Jamaican mother like to die and then get up and die again. Jamaicans have the most excuse ever, and I love them because I am one of them. And I'm one of the grimies, of the grimies. So I understand them, but they will come to you with stories, but they will never come to you and say, loan me the money. I want to borrow it from you. But Europeans, you guys borrow from each other and don't pay back. <laughs> Yo, it is what it is. And also Jamaican borrow from other Jamaica. I hear stories about that. I was on the phone with a particular person last week and they was telling me a story about, yeah, they loaned some 20,000, which is maybe 150 euros in Holland. And they, they, they have problems getting it back. And I was just laughing. I said, yeah, it's your fault. You cannot sue the person. I understand. No, no contract was drawn up. You just take it out of your pocket and give to them. They don't have to pay you back. As a matter of fact, I need 20,000 not to borrow from you. <laughs> you. You sweet. I keep it real. You sweet. You have it to give away. I need mine. <laughs> it's what it is. As I said, I keep it real. Keep your money in your pocket. When you keep your money in your pocket, somebody, else in, somebody will be angry at you. But you are not angry, but you have your money. But when you take it out and lend, now you angry and they are happy. So it's best you keep your happiness and fuck off with them. Am I making sense? I know I am. As I said, I keep it real here. Yeah. And I am objective. Talking about objective reasoning. Uh, Europe, European Cup came to a conclusion last Sunday. But anyhow, this is an old story, but it's still trending. Three black guys from England squad volunteered. The coach said, listen, we are in the semi-hour quarterfinals. We are down to penalty. And three black guys, like the clowns they are, get up and say, listen, I want to volunteer. I have the notes right here. As I said, I already recorded two videos. Yeah, but let me go on this now and check. I give as a name. I did my research. Marcus Rashford. 
R A S H F O R D. That nigga got up and took a penalty. Bam! He missed. No cookie, no applause. Sat down. Here comes another nigga with another penalty. I tell you his name. Jordan Sancho. I never hear a black guy called Sancho, but it is what he's clearly not Jamaican. How he missed also the life. Fuck. Now the entire England, the most racist place on the planet, looking at fuck. Another Jamaican, another black guy step up. Bukuya. B-U-K-A-Y-O. I can I, I know a chat that up. I speak Queen's English, suffice to say. <laughs> I cannot pronounce it. You pronounce it all Saka, S-A-K-A. -A. He stepped up and he also missed. Now I did my research. Combined, they have over 20 million um, Instagram followers. Also in the millions, Facebook. I didn't check um, Twitter. You want to know my opinion on this out roar? Fuck them niggas. Fuck all of them. This is what we call a nigger wake up call. I repeat, a nigger wake up call. Paul Mooney coined that phrase a long time ago. Rest his soul. He's dead now, but his words remain true. Some guy, some black guy, feel because they are on the English team. They are accepted. No. You are accepted when you are winning. But as soon as you don't win, the true colors of England come out. And you thought you was in the bosom of these white people in, in um, England, but you weren't. So this is your nigga wake up call. All of you, all three of you was flexing on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. White girlfriend here, fucking every white, you're fucking every week. Every day a different white woman and think, yeah, you are accepted. No, nigga. No, no, no. No, 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 no. And now you know. And to the coach and everybody who, who, who kissing up to them now, talking about, oh, it's, it's a travesty. Uh-uh-uh. The minute after you miss the goal, Everybody was cursing you and calling you a nigger. Telling you to get back to Africa or eat some banana or something. All of them. But because of this woke movement, they have to come now at the forefront and pretend that they are on your side. No, and I hope one of you see it and share it with, with those guys. I hope you follow them on Twitter or Instagram and say, yo, not because somebody's hugging you mean they are with you. None of them. Because of your talent, why, why you are on that team. You understand? But a lot of you get distracted. On Instagram, you're in the club. Yeah? You know what to do best. And I'm objective. Beckham missed the goal. I, Beckham missed a penalty. I would curse him out also. But England will not curse him out. You might pretend, but the minute Beckham score another goal, all is forgiven. But they hold you to a different standard as they do Beckham, because you are black. But you didn't know that. You think you are accepted. No, nigga, you are not accepted. Facts. I know you know it. It's, they, they, they put the word nigga all over their mural. They, they, um, there are pictures of them all over the place, and white people just go and spread them. <laughs> the graffiti, just, just do what they do. White people do what white people do. That's it. So this, I hope this is a wake up call to you guys. Stop putting on Instagram and Facebook who you're fucking this weekend. Stop it. Because England is looking. And the minute you, you, you stumble and fall, they remind you. You're a nigger. Playing on our squad, but you're a nigger nonetheless. And that's a fact. Whether you like it or not, you're here to hear the naked. Podcast. If you want to hear a sermon or some religious bullshit, there are other channels you can go. But here you will you will hear the truth. 
these black guys fuck up. And not because they are black men, I will support them. If I fuck about my job the way you do, you fuck about yours, I will be fired tomorrow. How hard it is to score a fucking goal. The keeper is right there, you are here. How hard it is. In a penalty shootout, nobody has ever blamed the keeper. Never. I always blame the guy who miss. Why? Because it's so easy if you are a professional and you claim to be professional. That because you're a black man, I'll be on your side. Fuck out of here. I hope to God this recording will hold up. Hmm? And why am I shouting? Hmm? Why am I shouting? Folks, I'm living my best life. <sighs> it's sad I'm living from a, a bag and I'm now hungry. But it's sad I'm living from my bag. It's not normal. But it is what it is. Huh? Hello to all my friends in Jamaica. Hello to Sheldon. Hello, he's cursing me out now, but it is what it is. Huh? I miss my Jamaican food, miss my Jamaican drink, but I'm living my best life. Even if I'm eating from a bag, I'm living my best life. When will I go back to Jamaica? Everybody asks me, when you go back to Jamaica? Oh, hell no. Shooting and killing people over there. That's a fact. Why not? I hear about you. Yeah. As a foreigner, you are welcome. But yeah, for me, I might fuck around and be missing. Like, share, and subscribe. I hope you all do. No wonder that woman say I look cute. I, I do look. I look young. But Craig Garnet. <laughs> you know what? Let me leave my friends alone. Yeah. This is what it is. Like, share, and subscribe. Hope to see you again. I hope I put this video out. There's nothing more crazy than an old guy trying to, trying to do some modern technology. It's not normal. Too much button is here. Yeah? Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. See you.